Hi, Grandma. Hi. All right, so for my first question in our, our series of, of interviewing you while, when we go to the chiropractor is um, I want to know what you remember about your family during World War II. So you were born what year? 31. And, okay, so how old were you when World War II started? I think I was about, I'm not sure. Well, 19, 12, maybe. 1941 was when Pearl Harbor happened, right? Is that yeah. right? Okay, and so so you were about 10 when it well, was. I was older than that. Okay. Well, when when people started going off to war, maybe then they were, um, maybe you were a little bit older. How do you remember finding out about it? Just from mom and daddy, I guess. They told you. Yeah. You, did you listen on the radio at all? No. 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 Did you have TV then? No. No. <laughs> So, did you read paper um, newspapers? Did you get a paper? Some, in your house? Yeah. Did you ever hear about like the war progress when you went to the movies? And did they have like war reels that I'm explained sorry, but about we it? Didn't go to the movies. No <laughs> movies for you. Okay. Was that because they were too expensive, or because they had um, hardly they were objectionable? No, they weren't objectionable well, back then, <laughs> right? Okay. So, did your did any of your um, your family go to the go to war? No. No? Not then. What about Uncle Leon? Did he go to war? He, he went to Korea. He went to Korea. Okay. All right. So they were all too young to be in the yeah. war. Did you know anybody at church or in your community that went, went to the war? No, I didn't no. know anybody. Did you hear about the Holocaust? before the war was over did you know that yeah. people were dying and like the Jews were being yes taken to concentration yeah. camps you knew that bef like when you were a teenager yeah yeah so how old are you well you must have been about 15 when the war ended 1945 to, oh 45, 14 14 40, I guess yeah. do you remember any celebrations or anything in your um, in your community? about the war being over? No. No. No, no Just... we didn't normally go to... Okay, but you were happy. Yes. I'm sure you were really happy. Yes. How did it, how did it, I mean, when, when I told you the question earlier, you said that it was, it was like you thought the world was going to come to an end. Yeah. That's, so that's how you felt about the war? We feel, uh, I felt about the same way I do, do now about Korea. Oh, really? North Korea. Well, that's scary. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. You know, that's mm -hmm. just the way we felt. Right, right. It's like the world's coming to an end or something. Yeah, but we kind of. I mean, I kind of look at the North Korean dictator as like he's scary, but he's crazy. Is that how you felt about Hitler? Yeah. Yeah. That's what everybody thought about him. Right. Right. But he's, just wanted to kill everybody. Yeah. So did you follow the war? Did you know when like Iwo Jima was happening and D-Day and yeah, you did. knew about each yeah. one of those things as it happened yeah. and you could see and did you know anyone who died in the war? No. No. Okay. But I'm sure there were people from, you lived in Texas at the time, right? Yes. You lived in, near Cress. Is that right? Mm. Well, yeah. Yeah. Maybe more Hale Center. Hale Center. Okay. Um, but I'm sure there were people who were affected by the by the yeah. war at that time. Yeah. How about rationing? Was there any rationing? It yes. Uh, we didn't have elastic for one thing. Oh. Uh, so what what was the most inconvenient about <laughs> not having elastic? Underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they didn't, they didn't make anything like that. Yeah. But, but you know. Right. Um, what else did you, could, was sugar there? Was sugar was ration. Okay, that's bad. Uh, chocolate? No, I don't remember chocolate. Of course, we never had much chocolate at all. Yeah. Time. Cigarettes, I heard, were rationed. Yeah. Did that affect your family at all? No, my no. daddy just roped his own. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get the tobacco? I guess that wasn't rationed? 
I, I don't know. Okay. It probably wasn't. Yeah. Because, you know, they needed, the soldiers needed tobacco. Right. You know, because right. that's their discretion. Uh-huh. Yeah. So people were willing to cut back. Did you ever see any of the We Want You um, posters yes. around? Yeah? Yeah. And the, the We Can Do It women posters. Did you know anybody who, who worked in a factory at the time? No. No? No. Okay. We didn't live in the factory. Right. You lived country. out in the in the country. Yeah. And, right. So you were in high school at that time. How many people were in your class? I really don't know for sure, but probably about maybe 12. Okay, so not very many at all. No. Pretty small class. Yeah. Well, school at Chris. Okay. About 12. Yeah. All right. Well, I will, I'm going to conclude our video. That's six minutes of, of history from Grandma Louise. And um, we'll see you next time we go to the chiropractor. Okay. Say goodbye. <laughs> Bye.